Ben Woodruff here and uh, with another falconry video. And this video I'm going to be introducing you to uh, arguably the best stationary trap uh, used in trapping birds of prey. Now, the, what this kind of scenario would deal with, let's say that you're a bird bander on a ridge top. Let's say that you ha are a person who has a hawk that keeps attacking your chickens or your pigeons or your pheasant pens um, or you're just a falconer that has you're trying to obtain a bird all of these kinds of situations uh, sometimes there's a need for a stationary trap now I was introduced to this trap uh, when it was being used at airports there's somebody with a permit to use the trap called a compartment trap out at airports where they were having very serious issues with hawks um, that they were worried about running into airplanes in a specific area and so they were utilizing this trap uh, with permits to trap them and remove them now <clears throat> for these scenarios that I mentioned for hundreds of years the trap of choice for falconers has been something called the Swedish goshawk trap now the Swedish goshawk trap definitely works and it's similar in principle to this uh, the trap I'm going to show you where it has bait down below and then up top there's a compartment that the hawk goes into gets caught there's no damage to the bait down below. The hawk is safely contained. <clears throat> but I don't like Swedish goshawk traps. I think uh, they, they work, but I think there's a few dangerous points, and I, I think that they're a little more suspicious to the eyes of a hawk, and they're less likely to get caught in it. Um, so I'm going to show you a compartment trap, and I think, it's, uh, I think it's light years beyond a Swedish goshawk trap. So this is the compartment trap. This lower section down here has bait animals. You would have like some pigeons or starlings or sparrows with food and water and they're totally separate from this upper section. This upper section has soft netting uh, so when a bird goes in they trigger a mechanism and the top closes and you go out and get them. Now no, what normally happens let's say this kiwi is your <laughs> say a cooper's hawk it'll see the bait It'll come flying and it'll usually charge against the side and then it'll retreat up to a tree, try to figure out the situation. Then it will land usually up on top here of the door, of the, of the lid, look straight down and dive down in. When it dives down in at the bait, here's what happens. Then it's caught. Again, with this soft netting, the bird is safe, it won't hurt itself, and you run out and you get the bird. Now, if you found this trap interesting and would like to learn more about how to make it, uh, I wrote a book called Trapping Essentials. You can get it at Western Sporting Publications. Just look up Western Sporting Publications online, you can buy it. Uh, I give all different kinds of how-to on how to make different traps, including the compartment trap. Um, just remember, if you are interested in trapping birds of prey, make sure that you know the laws in your area, whether you're a biologist or a falconer or a bird bander, uh, or even just somebody who has uh, birds attacking your chickens. Make sure you know what you're doing, make sure you're following your laws, and uh, wish you the best of luck and happy trapping.